Deciding to enter the world of business is quite a challenging journey. You have to equip yourself with a lot of business concepts and principles, which can be too complex at times. Some people who are just starting out a business and are new to it often enroll themselves in business courses just to prepare themselves. However, in this book, The Personal MBA by Josh Kaufman, he suggests that successful entrepreneurs are not necessarily nurtured inside business schools, but rather genuine leaders are products of the individual's personal experiences and developing one's own knowledge, skills, and abilities. Kaufman outlines what we need to know in order to successfully run a business, which is especially useful for those who are just neophytes in the field. Here are the seven lessons Josh Kaufman's book, The Personal NBA. Lesson one, put value in your business. For any business to be successful, it has to create or provide something which has value. We do not simply put up a business to earn money. We should also envision our business as an opportunity to make people's lives better, even in small ways. Businesses which give the most valuable offers are those that one, satisfy people's core human drives. Two, have clear end results. Third, provide convenience to people's lives. And fourth, provide people's desired social signals. So in starting a business, we need to think of something of value, which we could offer to people. This value is what would make our business thrive. Lesson two, deliver what you promise. Another factor that makes a business successful is if it actually delivers what it promises to its customers and makes sure that they are satisfied with the service they receive. It's good if we're able to deliver what is promised at the start, but it's always better to surpass their expectations. When the service that we provide goes beyond the customer's expectations, then they will have a higher perception on the quality of our service and would feel more fulfilled and satisfied. Thus, businesses should aim to meet and exceed customers' expectations. Lesson three, employ effective marketing strategies. For our business to thrive, we have to capture as large a market as possible. Here's where our marketing strategies come in. One important principle in marketing is that it should not be boring. We have to put our creative juices to work and think of a way to capture people's attention. Remember, people's attention is limited and they tend to be selective of what they give attention to. Thus, aside from thinking of the most creative marketing strategy, we also need to know what would make people be more open and receptive to our message. In marketing, what we say, how we say it, and when we say it make all the difference. Lesson four, secure the three universal currencies. In business, we do not just talk about money. Whenever we negotiate with our prospective customers, there are actually three currencies involved. Resources, time, and flexibility. Resources refer to tangible items like money. Time covers what people could offer in exchange for any resources. And flexibility refers to an opportunity cost, which becomes part of what we trade to our customers. So in making any negotiation with our prospective market, we need to keep the three currencies in mind, as these could serve as different options we can present to them to successfully close the deal. Lesson five, set reasonable prices. Being in control of our business, we could actually set any price we want. However, this is not the way to go. The price that we set for the products and services we offer should be reasonable. There are actually a few different ways by which we could price our products. One, we could compare how our similar products and services are currently priced in the market. Second, and often the best way, is to set the price based on how valuable it is for our customers. People would be willing to pay if they feel that they're able to get the most out of the money that they spend. Setting reasonable prices would ensure that we keep our market, which would also bring enough money in. Lesson six, focus on the MIT. Running a business entails a lot of work. Aside from monitoring business operations, there's also a lot of work we need to do within ourselves. With the numerous tasks we need to accomplish, we could likely feel tired and sometimes procrastinate on our tasks. What's suggested then is for us to focus on the MIT or the most important tasks. If we only have limited hours in a day, it's best to focus on the most critical tasks first. By categorizing tasks based on importance and urgency, we would be able to focus more on the tasks and get things done. It's also helpful to set well-formed goals, which could help us visualize what we want to achieve and make us motivated to work towards realizing it. Doing this in the long run could turn into a habit, which will bring positive outcomes for yourself and the entire company. Lesson seven, work with others. Running a business is a difficult task, but one thing that could inspire us to keep going is the fact that we do not have to do it alone. We could actually work with others to achieve our goals. This does not necessarily mean that we keep on exercising our power and compel them to do all the work. We could also work with others by simply encouraging them to do the things we want them to do. One essential ingredient to ensure smooth working relationships with people is to have clear and open communication. The more that we make others feel that they are important and are valued, the deeper the relationship becomes and the easier it would be to work together towards the same goals. As cliche as it may sound, but indeed, no man is an island, even in business. In conclusion, this book offers a multidisciplinary approach in educating people about what it takes to run a business and make it successful. It presents business concepts and defines them in a way that's comprehensible and practical. 
Thus, if you plan on starting a business, this book is definitely a good read that will equip you with the concepts and strategies you would need in order to be successful in the field. Thank you for listening. If you like the book summary and you want to see more in this category, please like and subscribe so I can create more. You can also get a free copy of the entire audiobook by clicking the link in the description. Until next time.